Hi. Hi! I'm Ashaya. And I'm Mariah, and we're going to talk about, um... We're going to review five books that we read this week. These books are good for ages 10 <laughs> and 15. First, we're going to start off with one of our favorite books, Emily Winstead. It's about a mermaid. Like, um, she doesn't know she's a mermaid, and she finds out that she's a mermaid. It's some and weird sort of accident in a swimming pool. Yeah, and we don't want to spoil this for you. You got to check it out. It's really cool. And and she finds out that her dad is a mermaid. Merman. Merman. And um, it's really cool. Her name's Emily, of course. Emily, Emily Winsnap. This one's the first book of Emily Winsnap. And then there's like other books. They're really good. We've read all of them more than once. And it's pretty interesting, I would say. There's funny parts in it and everything. And then in one of the books, like, I don't know, I think the fourth, she meets this boy who was basically like her. Because they're half, both like semi. Half human, half. Semi. Um, semi mermaid. And mermaid. Mer people. Mer people. <laughs> People. Anyway, the the um her mom of course is a human, her dad's a merman. Yeah. And she really doesn't know that in the beginning of the book till the accent. And we don't want to spoil too much for you. You'll have to find out yourself because they are really good books. And you'll um, have to find them at the library or just we, buy it. We bought this one. This is ours, not from the library, but a few of these other ones that we have are from the library. So next book up is Twinchin. Oh, Twin Tuition. Twin Tuition. I can name it. <laughs> um, twinchin. But, um, twinchin. 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 <laughs> and um, there, I forgot their name. Um, they are twins, and they find out that they have, like, this kind of, like, a superpower, and when they, like, you know, put their hand or help someone up or something, they can, um, kind of mm -hmm. reveal what happens later. One, uh, gets and to feel, uh, uh, reveal something really bad, one gets to feel something very happy. Yeah, one's, like, one's, like, um, a girly girl. One of the twins are, like, a girly girl for like girly girls and this one's like more of a tomboy and more like um quiet kind of ish too not like a tomboy but they're complete opposites and like us like us we're not twins though we're like a year apart and she's older don't than me. start thinking we look like she's twins. older than me and i'm taller than her so most people think i'm older than her at school <laughs> <laughs> and this, this is, is the one of the books called the Ma, uh, the daughter daughter, ba, da, daughter uh, mother daughter <laughs> book club and um this is the third book and um it's about this girl Meg of course this fashion this girl Meg. who loves to make anything she loves fashion she'll draw out the fashion and then she'll like make, make it. it. And um, there's um, the characters are Emma, and Cassie. she's like a nerd. She's like a kind of like a nerd, mm -hmm. and um, she loves to read, like my sister here. <laughs> and um, then there's Jess. She's a farmer girl, always wears like a braid. They used to call her in the first book Goat Girl because she they loves called her coat. Goat girl. Goats and she cokes. and um, <laughs> she smelled like. Goat is what it has in the book. Um, she smells like a goat because she's around yeah. them. And it's really funny in the first book that the chickens are named after movie stars. A lot of these have a little bit like their personalities are a lot like ours, so we like reading them because we can like you know. Compare Meg, it and no, stuff. no, no, no. She's not uh, me. Meg is not like no. neither one of us. Neither neither one of us care about fashion that much. Oh, um, put it down. The we'd rather do drawing and reading. Um, and then there is what's the last one? Um, did we name all of them? And there's this um bully at first, 
Her name's Becca, and she teases Jess and calls her Goat Girl. That's how that little thing. Cassidy's really good at pranking people, let's just say. Oh, yeah. It was really good in the first book. I don't want to spoil it. But Becca gets what she deserves, and there's a really good laugh in there. It's a really good book. Then in this one, she totally uh, flips out Jess, um, also the goat girl. She um, happens to be a very scientific, very good at getting A's girl. Uh, she so is, she gets yeah. into this... Boarding school, boarding I think it's school. called, and um, it's an all girls. School. She happens to meet this girl who has to be her roommate, and she's like, "No!" Because yeah, she's another like Becca, complete. basically. Yeah. And, but worse, but like ten worse. years. Worse. So Cassidy decides. Cassidy. Uh, Case Cassidy, Cassidy decides to get her back. I'm not telling about the prank she, uh, the girl did. Cassidy is really good at pranks. Yeah. So and then um. I really like this book um, because it's, I love all the books. <laughs> Next book, um, Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul 2. Part 2. <laughs> Part 2. Book 2. Um, this does, this is for um, teenagers. Um, teenagers, and it's not bad at all. Like, some of it can be. A little bad, like just one book out of it, or just guilt, but senses is in this story that feels. But it's for like Christians, so it's not like that bad. It doesn't have anything bad in it. Um, it's mostly funny stories and good stories that like make you want to like encourage you more and stuff. It's and some it's that will book. make you laugh if you're having a very tough day. Yeah, and you can relate to some of the teenagers or stuff, like because. Like, you can be a lot. One of them happened to be a bookworm and a soccer player, which I'm not, but I'm a bookworm. So she goes to the library and she grabs some books and then she happens to slip because she has her uh, soccer uh, outfit alf still on with her shoes. So she slips, her bottom uh, goes on the floor, but it doesn't just stay there like you usually do. It starts sliding across the floor and going through chairs and everything. And she gets so embarrassed, her face turns pink, and this boy happened to see the whole thing. So he starts laughing, like he's trying not to. Boy, so she true. says to try to make herself uh, feel more better. She gets up, she strikes the pose and says, ta-da! Like she so yeah, it's pretty good. Well, I haven't read this book. I've read, like, other chicken noodle soup things. Uh, the <laughs> I got this at a bookstore, so that's why yeah, I Yeah, that's our book. Um, the um, Mother Daughter Book Club was not our book. That was a library book that we had, um, like, we got at the library. Got, um, got, yeah, got, yeah, got at a library. <laughs> Sorry. And then there's... So Jashaya is becoming a teen. Ooh la la! She la. has this little thing that she's gonna do all by herself because I personally do not like these books. It's um <laughs> love, <laughs> and I'm more of um I like reading like books the, that are like more adventure or more mystery and stuff. The one she, true love of Alice and and this is also a Christian book, so there is nothing bad in this. Um. Is a Valley girl who happens to think that she's in love with a, a guy who happens to want to go into the army. And I think it's a little, <laughs> I think it's a little funny in that part to uh, tell her other friend, who's also a boy, she has a lot of boy friends that are friends. But like not boyfriends, but friends. <laughs> yeah. Friends boys. that happen to be boys. Don't get in ideas. <laughs> anyway. So she, um, he happens to go into the army with his friend Max, who's the guy she happens to like. It's not Max, it's Mac. It's Mac or Max, it doesn't it's matter, they're Max. spelled the same. It's Mac. I have read it, I regret it, because <laughs> I do not like to the, like read books like this. Um, we kind of did this dare thing where Shia would dare me to read a book that I usually don't read, and it <laughs> happened to be that one. And um, I read it, and I got very bored, 
And I think you dared me to uh, read very. A, a baby book. And I didn't dare to read a baby book. I read her, I oh. dared her to read some of the dictionary. <laughs> that was annoying <laughs> and boring. <laughs> Which is even boring, the, um, boy, boring. <laughs> then this book. Um, I'd rather read this book than the dictionary. <laughs> A alligator was the first one in the dictionary. No, it was A like in A apple or A. But it was alligator. I seriously, I went o- opened she it. She opened alligator. the alligator. Oh. Um, back to the book. Don't start stung this time. Anyway. She likes this one because... <laughs> it happens to be funny. Um, kind of, I guess. I read it and um, this it was very... Uh, the guy she happens oh, wow. to finally marry after she finally realized she loves him, finally, he, um, well, she, he happens to tell her in one of his letters, because, you know, he joined the army, after he got from, like, he had this accident, which he almost died from. So he was blind for a long time. But he's not blind in the end of the book, so thank God for that. Um, he, they went into army because, like, in that time, there's, like, this war going on, and they, both Mac and this other guy, I forgot his name. They just says, call him <laughs> George. Sam. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> Max. Mean. No. It happens Max. to just be a guy, so. A guy. <laughs> a guy. Um, it's, it's not a guy. Like, it's not, like, one of our favorite books. It's just a book. We had to read that uh, like not had to but i wanted dared to. so it's oh uh, this well, is our book i don't know why mom got this i don't know because why, I but the author it. the author is evan eva marie it, everson i think i think that's how you pronounce it and she uh, give me one of the books over there so you can tell them the authors to it well um i forgot to tell you for the this book um, daughter mother book, daughter mother book club. Um, the author is Heather Vocal Frederick. We read a few of her books because they are really good. Um, the author to this book is movies, TV. Stars. Oh, Tia and Tamara Amari. Yeah. To so this book, that, um, they're from Sister Sister, yeah. which is a show. I know. It says that in the back oh, okay. um, about the author. The author of this one is George Washington. Mm-hmm, Just like. joking. Um, it's uh, probably a lot of different authors. Yeah, like four. Yeah, or five. lots of these. Yeah, they're just authors. And then our one of our favorite authors from the Emily Winsnap is Liz Kelser. And yeah, these are our favorite books for this week. That for this read. week, not our well. Yeah. I've read all of them. We've read more than five books this week. Shy has, or us together. Guilty! Um, but these are our favorite books. Do you want these? Well, I hope you liked listening to our ideas. And I want to um, try reading some of these. Um, our, my favorite are these three. Out of the five that we read, what are these three? Well, Remember to try to like and subscribe and um remember to this is enjoy our first this, video. your really good look. This is our first video, so we're kind of um, sorry, it's probably a little weird. Well, goodbye. Bye. Five. I mean, I'm five. <laughs> Ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say bye? Yeah, I just go over there.